So um, let's break down GBP JPY because it's a beautiful, simple, clean trade. Okay. Uh, we took a loss yesterday on EuroCAD, but that's okay. Um, you know, small loss, manage the risk. So let's break this down. If we flip to the line chart, just to make it a bit clearer, we can see leading up to this trade, we had sort of, I guess you could call it an ascending triangle or an ascending, no, ascending triangle. Um, we get the 4H breaking and closing above this level, okay? Um, so I've marked this level, and as soon as I see the 4-hour breaking out of that level and then closing out of that level, we can see we clearly break the level no matter where we put this. Um, that's when I gather that, you know, the market's market is in a bullish bias. The buyers are in control, so I'm only going to be taking buys, okay? So I flip to my 1-hour. Um, so 4H close right around here, and then I look for price to create an exhaustion phase because remember, you know, the market moves in push phases and then exhaustion phases and then push phases, okay? So I want to enter at this exhaustion phase right here, okay? Um, and the way I do that is wait for price to create that exhaustion after creating a new high um, and then create what I call a rejection, which is just weak rejections and an engulfing candle which you can see I enter with a buy stop on that engulfing candle. Simple, clean market structure, trading from the previous highs, nothing special about it. Enter with some price action confirmation, okay? We've got a safe stop below the structure and we go for that one to three. We're currently locked in at break even, okay? Um, so let's continue with some of these pairs, okay? I believe Aussie dollar Japanese yen is presenting a similar setup to the one I just talked about on GBP JPY. So if we analyze this, um, we can start to see that again, the market is presenting this sort of ascending wedge shape over here. And we can also see price has broken and closed out of this level um, with that 4H close, creating a new higher high, okay? So if we flip to the one hour time frame, which is the time frame I enter on, we can see that we didn't quite create an entry, okay? We didn't have that price push back, create those wicks, and then continuation, okay? What we see here is not enough for me, okay? I want to see a deep retest back into this level. I don't just want to see some wicks being created. So um, the plan from here for me is simply just to wait for price to push back to this key level um, and then create similar wicks to over here, but just right deep into this key level, and then I'll enter on some sort of an engulfing candle. Okay, so just like that GBP JPY um, setup I spoke about, wanna see those wicks, which if we pretend that's a wick and an engulfing candle, we enter somewhere over here with a buy stop, stop loss below the lows, and we hit that one to three. Okay, and you can see all I'm doing is just identifying the push phase so push phase, exhaustion phase, push phase, wait for the exhaustion phase, wait for the push phase. Okay, that's all I'm doing, okay? In our content, you may have noticed that we occasionally use our own proprietary software to research the markets. This market scanner is called the A1 Edge Finder, and it is a tool our team has spent a lot of time designing and updating. The scanner imports data on things like retail positions to see what retail traders are buying or selling. It also imports bank and hedge fund positioning so that we can get an inside look at what the big players are up to. Of course, we pay attention to fundamentals. So we program the tool to grab economic data in real time to help keep us up to date. If you'd like a copy of the tool yourself, we're doing a major subscriber discount when you use code A1YT at checkout. In the description below, you'll find a link to get access to the tool. By purchasing our software, you'll be supporting our research videos here, as well as getting access to an amazing tool. Again, use code A1YT down below. Now, back to the video. Um, if we continue down the line, we'll look at Aussie dollar CAD as well, because here we have a different setup, but same setup, but in the opposite direction, okay? So it's not often that you see very clean um, setups like this with sort of this descending or ascending triangle. Not that I trade shapes, but it's just nice to see it like that. Um, you can clearly see that in the market, this is a very strong level in the market, okay? Multiple times price is failing to break below this level. Then finally, you know, um, 
we get that break and close below this level. So, you know, the reason I say at the start, I like this sort of descending or ascending triangle pattern is if we look at it from, you know, a more sort of thoughtful perspective, we can see that price makes a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high. So, you know, we're just creating this very nice downtrending structure. And for me, this is ideal to enter sell. Okay. Um, and it just, it's clean, super nice trading. Um, yeah, it's just very nice to trade. So if we flip to the one hour, I've already identified that the 4H has broken out of this level and closed below this level. So I've identified the bearish structure within this market. I can then flip back to my one hour. And now I can see that price is creating a bit of a mess over here. Okay. Unlike the previous examples where price is broken out and then comes straight back or is broken out, this one's creating this sort of weird structure down here. Okay. So for me, as soon as price pushes back to this key level, I need to see this behavior flip. Okay. The reason being is because you can see we're creating some sort of a double bottom structure. If we get rid of this, um, we're creating some structure here. Okay. And we've actually created a lower high right there. So for me, as soon as we break above that lower high, as soon as we break above that lower high, that's actually a bullish phase in the market. And we'll be creating, you know, sort of this counter trend back into, get rid of this, not to confuse anyone back into this level, um, which means that for me, I expect price to just continue in that direction. Okay. So in order to still take the sell because the four hour is bearish, I still want to wait for a double top to see that behavior shift um, in line with the overall structure of the market, which is bearish. Okay. Simple plan. Let's see if it comes through. I will actually just put an alert right here. So that way I know that if price pushes back to this key level, I can start looking at, um, you know, some trades. Um, so I'll just quickly scan through some of these. Aussie dollar, US dollar um, is actually in quite a nice consolidation over here. So if we look at the line chart, we can sort of just see nice areas that we can look to trade off. Okay, so simple plan for me when I see a consolidation like this, um, just wait for a breakout. Either way, doesn't matter. Breakout, either way, doesn't matter. Okay, so key thing, I wait for the four hour to break and close out of that level. Okay, whichever way it closes, that's the way I decide I'm going to trade. I flip to my one hour. I wait for price to come back to this key level, create some weak rejections and an engulfing candle in the direction I'm trading. And then I enter right below the lows, stop loss above the highs, and I take the one to three. Exact same thing if it was a bullish breakout, except obviously the opposite. Okay. Um, let's keep going with some of these analysis. GBP AUD, I believe, has created a nice breakout. Okay. So for me, I classify this as a breakout. Um, I'm not looking at this, this over here, just because I believe that was Monday open. Um, maybe not. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but if we look at the line chart, you can see it much clearly over here. This is the level in the market. We can see that previously price failed to break above this level multiple times. Um, so obviously this is sort of a strong level. Um, and now we have the 4H break out of this level and close out of this level. Okay. So initially I can start seeing bullish, bullish structure. Okay. Flip back to my one hour. And now all I want to do, see price push back to this key level, create that rejection with some wicks like that and a nice engulfing candle like that. And we enter with a buy stop right above these levels. Okay. I know it sounds super simple. Um, and like, you're probably thinking there's no way this works, but proof lies in the pudding. All right. Um, you know, obviously you're not going to win every trade. That's, you know, one of the downfalls I think of my strategy is I have quite a low win rate, but the risk reward management, um, and the simplicity of it is just unparalleled for me. Um, I think, you know, when you can trade so simply, it's just so nice to look at the charts every now and then, 
um and yeah go from there okay gbp ends at the end it'll stop waffling i'm sorry um we can start seeing that price is again in a very nice consolidation so what do i do i wait for price to break out of this level come back and then continue down from there okay i've already talked about the entries um you know buy stop sell stop whatever it doesn't matter about that too much as long as we see the rejection and the continuation with wicks let me just write it down wicks patterns and engulfing candles and what i mean by patterns double bottoms and double tops okay so this is what i want to see at these levels upon the retest to show the end of this exhaustion phase and the beginning of a new push phase gbp cad wow nice nice so gbp cad again we can clearly see price is creating this downtrend um, now we have price breaking and closing below this level on the four hour so we can start looking at potential sales with a lower low being created flip to my one hour what do we see weak rejections bang um, no engulfing candle yet okay so for me um, when i don't see this engulfing candle okay um, you can see why i didn't enter that no engulfing candle i just wait for price to create a double top and enter there okay i still want to see the engulfing candle um, and the weak rejection but just because the engulfing candle doesn't happen on that initial sort of touch doesn't mean you know it's a bad trade and i can't enter i can still wait for price to create that engulfing candle okay um, i'm just looking at this and i might even look at potentially trading just off of this engulfing candle here if it forms um, because realistically we've got the wicks um, we didn't get the momentum shift there, but if we get it the next candle, I'll definitely have a look at it. Okay, but if it doesn't play out, just wait for the double top. Um, you know, it's just even more confluence that this trade might just work. Okay, GBP Swiss franc is another really nice potential reversal setup. Okay, so if we break this down, we can see that clearly price has sort of broken this downtrend we've had for the past couple of weeks. Um, and, you know, the reason I can confirm that is because I identified that price has created a triple bottom over here or a double bottom at least. Um, and then we break and close above the previous lower high structure, which is that right there um, or this right here. It's this whole structure. We break and close above that structure so we can start looking at buys. This downtrend is no longer valid. I flip to my entry time frame. And I see that no engulfing candle on this first touch over here on this first retest. So I don't enter. So what do I do? I wait for price to push back to this key level. Um, wait for new weak rejections and then a new engulfing candle. Okay. Simple as that. Um, and again, I want to see these wicks form here on this, this second touch. A new engulfing candle form. Uh, and I enter somewhere above these levels. Um, with my stop loss safely below the structure and i go for the one to three whether it pays off uh comes together or not i don't care but the plan is there and you know if it plays out we'll execute if not we'll just relax okay usd jpy we'll have a look at look for me this is just way too far gone um, i'm not going to try taking cells coming back to this level i don't think that's realistic okay just give a scan through the rest so I can look for some more setups. Um, Euro AUD, again, we can see Aussie dollar weakness. So um, initially we can see price trending bullish. Nice little consolidation, little bit of a double bottom. Break and close out of this level. Okay, so we have the bullish close. Um, so I can start looking for buys, bullish structure. I flip to my entry time frame on the one hour very clean very clean structure we got here just want to see price push back and then continue bullish from there um, and again i want to see these weak rejections and this engulfing candle right over here and then i enter somewhere around here buy stop buy stop and stop loss below the lows nothing greedy i go for that one to three okay and you can just start to see like how this would play out so um Higher high, higher low, failed to make a new high, higher low, new high created, exhaustion phase, new push phase. 
Okay, that's all I'm doing. Just identifying the phases of the market and trying to find the best entry positions to grasp hold of these new push phases. Okay, um, so if we can continue down, we can see a similar setup on Euro NZD. Um, so we can start seeing some weakness on Aussie dollar and New Zealand dollar. Um, so this one is a very similar structure. So let's say this four hour closes out of this level, um, which it should only like 45 minutes left. Um, so if this four hour closes out of this level, we can see price will have created sort of um, a new higher high right here. And we can start looking for price to push back to this key level on the one hour and continue bullish from there. Okay. And again, weak rejections engulfing candles patterns. Um, if I don't see this four hour close, so let's say this four hour wicks down, um, I'm not, I'm just simply not looking to trade it. Okay. It's back into range and I either wait for price to break below or break out above again. Okay. Um, Euro USD actually I will talk about. So um, this is similar to GU, which I wanted to talk about, but here we can see price has broken out, created a new higher high. Okay. Right over here. So if we look at the most recent structure, we can see that got a little higher high there, breakout, new higher high. Okay. So if we flip to my one hour, um, we can already start to see rejecting this level, but I would like to see a much deeper retest back into this level. Pardon me, maybe something like a double bottom. Okay. Um, Euro GBP, we can see another consolidation happening here. Um, and, you know, I'd be happy to try taking buys. If we break out above this level um, or below that level, we'll start taking sells. But the buys would look something along the lines of, you know, somewhere around here. And again, we want to see these weak rejections form and some nice engulfing candles to show that price is ending this exhaustion phase, this exhaustion phase and beginning the new push phase, which is where we profit. Okay. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to A1 Trading, please do. Uh, they provide lots and lots of free content, content um, which, you know, really helped me when I first started trading. Um, and I think will help a lot of other people as well.